I want to warn all of your viewers and listeners about something called Great America PAC. Oh, you talked about this, and Trump's tweeted about it, and it's, he said this isn't me, and they don't... I'm glad you raised that, because World Net Daily's exposed that, right, Dr. Corsi? There's, there's a major story on World Net Daily today by the great Jerry Corsi. Uh, it's been exposed uh, in the New York Times uh, in a piece by Maggie Haberman, uh, Boone Pickens, the uh, Texas uh, oil billionaire, recently withdrew for a fun from a fundraiser. This fellow, Ed Rollins, who wears this Reagan credential on his sleeve, works by day at Teneo. Teneo is the Clinton-connected lobbying firm run by Bill Clinton's former running buddy and chief of staff, Doug Band. Yeah. Bill Clinton has made millions out of Teneo. So I think that this is a, a I think Rollins is a saboteur. There was a fellow named Dean on Fox Business News this morning. He's their new finance chairman. He neglected to tell us that as Ben Carson's finance chairman, he spent $4.2 million to raise $5.5 million. Wow. Folks, if you want to help Donald Trump and you want to give, go to the official Trump for President website. Even though he is not soliciting funds, there is a link there where you can contribute voluntarily. That's where you should put your money. Roger Stone, let me raise this here because, look, I know he said the primary, I'm not going to take big money. I get all that, but I want to beat Hillary. I mean, she's going to raise billions. As long as he says, I'm going to follow the Constitution, your money means nothing. It means you're supporting me. That's what it should be. Hey, I, I'm going to follow the Constitution. If you like that, give me money. And then I don't care if he has packs against money. I really think he's at a disadvantage. I know he said he wouldn't do it early on, but now we're in the general election I mean, am I wrong to say he needs to go ahead and spread his wings and try to get as much money as possible? Hey, look, Alex, he would be a fool to unilaterally disarm. Money is still the mother's milk of, of American politics. It's a weapon. You know? I need it to operate. It'd be crazy if I didn't do that. Exactly. Plus, I think he's smart enough to know that the, the Wall Street, K Street types are going to have their CYA money. Why shouldn't he take it? The point is, I've said here before, you can't buy Donald Trump, not for a dollar, not for a million dollars, not for a hundred million dollars. He's extremely stubborn. That's a good thing when it comes he's to his own, he's, he's his own man. But I would urge people who want to help Trump, there is one legitimate uh, uh, pack out there, the uh, the Committee for American Sovereignty. I, I know those folks. They're honest, hardworking people. They're not going to steal the money in overhead uh, or in, in rich consultant fees. But this Great America pack run by Ed Rollins is a scam. It's a fraud. Is uh, Benton still sneaking have, around over there? Give the money directly to Trump. That's the best thing to do. Sure. I mean, is Benton still sneaking around in there? Well, he supposedly uh, now has disassociated himself. You refer to Jesse Benton, <clears throat> who sabotaged two uh, Paul campaigns, the Ron Paul oh, campaign. There was no doubt. I watched it happen and held my tongue because I don't... I mean, it was bad. Very, very sad. But since he was convicted of bribery uh, in connection with the Ron Paul campaign uh, only weeks ago, he seems to have dropped from sight, uh, and they say he is no longer associated with Great America PAC. Just uh, the fact that a convicted felon was there a week ago should be a concern for donors. I've met a lot of tough guys in my day. I've never met anybody tougher than Donald Trump. The guy is, uh, uh, he's courageous, he's bold, he knows he's taking his life in his hands when he goes out there, but he's decided that this is something he must do. I pray for him every day. I pray for his safety. And by the way, he uh, looks totally energized, doesn't he? I know you won't tell me the well, private stuff. I know he is energized, but, I mean, he's really energized. He's loving this. Well, and he's doing a, he's doing a West Coast swing here of states uh, well, whose primaries really no longer matter, but because he wants to spread the word and show the flag. Uh, and he's going to campaign He's a fighter. California. He jumps out in front of all the communists when they block the road and just marches right in front of them and, like, jumps down five-foot culverts. I just love it. Yeah, no, look, he's a, he's a leader. It's time for America to have a leader. Uh, look, I, I thought Ronald Reagan was the one of the greatest presidents in my lifetime, and I was honored to have a small role in his election. But this election, this election is actually more important. It's epic. It's for all the marbles. This is the epic showdown between the globalists who are for the new world order and those who believe in the Constitution as envisioned by the founding fathers. Not a living document, not something subject to change, meant exactly as it was written at the time.